HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Kenley Johnson. And I'm Kenneth Jordan, and this is your weekly update for Monday, November 21st, 2016. These announcements are sponsored by SkyZone. Jump off those Thanksgiving calories with the family. SkyZone is open Monday through Wednesday, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Thanksgiving week and 9 a.m. on Black Friday. A representative from the Art Institute of Indianapolis is visiting HSC on Tuesday, November 29th at 1 p.m. to talk with students who are interested. Sign up on Naviance or in the CCA office. It's here, the moment you've all been waiting for. Mr. World 2017 applications are now available. Are you a senior boy who'd like to participate in one of the coolest events of the year? Do you want to compete for awesome prizes, entertain our student body, and help raise money for multiple charities? Then you should pick up an application outside J102 today. Applications are due Wednesday, November 30th. Don't miss this amazing opportunity. Get your student planner for the new year and second semester. 2016-17 planners are on sale in the bookstore for $5. It's a great way to stay organized and never miss a beat. Students, do the pre-winter blues have you down? Are you in a slump because you realize you haven't reserved your copy of the 2016-2017 SEPTA yearbook yet? Have no fear. If you visit yearbookordercenter.com and reference job number 8684 by Friday, December 16th, you can still reserve your copy for $65. This will be the last chance to reserve your yearbook until books are distributed in May. Quantities will be limited, so be sure to reserve your yearbook today. Sophomores, the applications for the A Chance to Serve Leadership and Community Service program are due today at 315 to Ms. Herndon in the CCA office. Applications are available in the guidance and CCA offices for students to pick up. Congrats to Kevin Kwan, Annika Powelson, and Will Hancock who were selected to perform in the Indiana Band Masters Association All District Band this weekend at Newcastle High School. Can you ride a unicycle while juggling? Maybe you're a hilarious comedian. Whatever your talent, Mr. Royal needs you for the outside talent acts. This is not as a contestant, but as a talent in between the contestant acts. We're looking for contestants too, but this is a different form of that. If you would like to perform as an outside talent act for the show in, on January, contact Alondra May for more information at the email below, or contact her at 775-4268. Videos will be due December 16th. Keep in mind that you must be available for the week of the show for rehearsal. That's January 24th through the 26th. USC is excited to announce expanded course options for the 2017 USC summer programs. Visit our website to choose from over 20 courses in multiple disciplines and topics all taught by USC faculty and staff. Explore your interest and earn college credit this summer while spending time on USC's beautiful campus. Our application is now open. Get a head start on your summer plans and apply today. If you have any questions, please email us at summer at usc.edu. Need an excuse to go to City Barbecue? Well, here it is. Go to City Barbecue tonight to support Best Buddies with their Dine to Donate event. Take a buddy, your family, or just drive through. Let them know you are supporting Best Buddies. Help support this amazing organization. World Students for Life Club will be celebrating National Adoption Month on Monday, November 28th from 3 to 4 p.m. in A106. Snacks and drinks will be provided. This past weekend, the speech and debate team competed at Kokomo High School along with 11 other schools. The team placed second overall with the following individuals winning their events. Nate Branson in Varsity Discussion, Anna Nomia in Novus Discussion, Michaela Witzig in Thyla May in Novus Duo, Michaela Witzig in Novus Humor, Anna Pasquale in Varsity Informative Speaking, Jack Reynolds in no Novus International Extemporaneous Speaking, and Salma Muhammad in Novus Poetry. Any debaters wanting to compete at Ben Davis on December 3rd need to sign up in the deadline tomorrow by the end of the day. A representative from the Art Institute of Indianapolis is visiting HSC on Tuesday, November 29th at 1 p.m. to talk with students who are interested. Sign up on the Naviance website or in the CC office. Now let's turn it to Matt with your sports news. Good afternoon, HSC. I'm Matt Clean Cameron with your sports. The HSC wrestlers had a great opening weekend of wrestling. They placed eight wrestlers in the finals and crowned four champions. It was a 16-team invitational. The team finished first overall with 351 points. Great job, Royals. The HSC JV girls basketball team picked up a commanding win over Carroll High School, 60-33. Alex Frager led all scorers with 18 points. Varsity won 80-67 over Carroll, and Sydney Parrish led all scorers. The next home game is tomorrow night at home against Brownburg. That's all we have for today, HSC. Let's send it back to your anchors. 
Before we go, let's take a look at a quick edit regarding crossing 126th Street. Good morning, Royals. It's Officer Johnson here from Fisher's Police. Uh, some of you may have noticed uh, as you come along 126th Street in the morning that we've installed a uh, temporary light to light up 126th Street. Uh, the purpose behind that light is to make uh, uh, traffic flow a little safer for the pedestrians that are crossing the street. Big safety concern is uh, students are crossing uh, at any spot along that road that they want to. It's very dark and it's making it very dangerous for kids. Uh, the potential of being hit by a car is very real. So if you don't mind, the, the rule that we would like to implement going forward is for all students to either cross at that light where the road is lit up and motorists can see you, or to walk down to 126 in Olio at the stoplight and cross there. Uh, your help would be greatly appreciated. That's all we have for today, HSC. Have a great day. Have a wonderful day, HSC. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.